what allows you to find common ground with somebody if you want to have a, a, a good interaction with them if they don't have your religious, political, or philosophical point of view? How can you still relate to them? Uh, usually you talk about... In that situation, I usually talk about kind of mundane things, just, you know, things everybody has in common. I guess that's what mundane kind of means. Um, it's just, you know, uh, what everybody's got, you know, problem, common problems. invitation to witness their lives and to, to offer the invitation to have them be a witness for our lives. And, and, and when that happens, when, when we just let the guard down and see each other as people, uh, it's great. And nothing else. Love's a gas. You don't agree with someone and you don't like them for that, it's really hard to be open-minded about them and then you don't want to find common ground. But once you accept that they have their beliefs too, you know, it just becomes easier. And I think everyone can agree on something, you know, whether it be which kind of coffee they like or, you know, or anything that, you know, everyone can agree on something. And I think people just need to realize that. Gets anything particular, like if you have a different background, different cultural background, you know, to me it's all good as long as we're all in harmony, as long as you know, you know, as long as you don't impose and I don't impose, I think as long as we have a common ground, we're understanding for each other and respect for each other's beliefs and everything, then I think everything should be gravy. Tree Line Street. And a strawberry. See people are people, you know, you still gotta you know, go to work and eat and pay your rent and stuff like that. So there's always something in common. Um, yeah, you just try to help other people so that somewhere down the line, if you need help, they'll, you know, hopefully return a favor. If not them, maybe someone else. You know, so it's what goes around comes around, I guess. So try to put good, good things out there and come back. So it really doesn't matter if you agree with me. transcend the differences and you try to find a commonality that you can all understand. Creation. Creation. A, a great redemption from suffering and Nietzsche. Yes, he knew about that. Look at that bicycle. If you have it in your heart, the other people's best interest, right? I think you don't really have to think or plan or, or you know have a big strategy or something, right? I think everything comes into place. Just trying to be conscious of daily things and everybody around my surroundings. And everybody else, do unto others as you do unto yourself. That's my main thing. Some people are afraid of change. They want things just to stay.
stay the same.